today's video. For today's video, I will be taking you behind the scenes of how I film myself in the gym and give you some tips for how you can help film yourself in the gym. Now, let's get real. Doing a fitness Instagram isn't always easy because you get kind of some weird looks, you know? You always got those people who are staring at you like, oh, what's this girl doing? And I just gotta say, I'm doing it for the gram. Before I take you to the gym with me and kind of show you and talk to you about how I set up my camera, how I get the angles, and just kind of how to do it in general, I wanted to give you two quick tips. Number one is to just do it. I feel like I say just do it a lot and I feel like that's Nike's slogan or something, but honestly, you have to just go for it. And honestly, every time I leave the gym and I actually stuck with it, I filmed myself, even if I was uncomfortable and I have that footage, by the time I get home and I'm reviewing it and I'm uploading it to Instagram, it is always worth it. No matter how awkward it gets, it's so worth it. I feel so proud of myself and I'm like, you know what? I'm doing this for a bigger purpose. I am helping women feel confident in the gym and I just always leave feeling better when I just go through it instead of being so scared and shy and like, oh, I don't want people to look at me weird. I just say, you know what? Screw it, we are doing this. So, just go for it, you guys. It's really not even that bad, to be honest. Maybe it's because I'm used to it now, but you can totally do this, and you should, especially if this is something that you're passionate about and you keep going back and forth on, you gotta just do it. Tip number two is that getting somebody to film you in the gym is a little bit easier. So I have a husband, Darian, married. Okay, it's almost three years, you guys. Ooh. But he goes to the gym with me a lot of times and I'll just ask him to film and he'll just kind of film me in between his sets. If he's in between a workout, I'll just come over, film me real quick during my set and then go back and do his. So it's super nonchalant, it's chill and we kind of have a good flow and we've worked things out. If you go with the best friend, ask them to film for you. If you have a spouse or a significant other, ask if they will film for you. It took Darian a while to even be comfortable filming me, so I still had to learn to be comfortable with filming myself, but he's totally fine with it now and we kind of have a rhythm of things. Okay, so I get a lot of questions about what I'm filming. Am I bringing a camera? Am I bringing a tripod? What am I doing? I just bring and use my phone. That is it. Either my husband is filming me or I will prop it up against my water bottle. I love using a water bottle to prop up my phone because I feel like it doesn't draw as much attention to me as I'm filming and I can just focus on my workout. But that's just how I record. I love that all of the footage is already on my phone so I can edit and upload to you Instagram as fast as possible. So everything is always just taken on my phone. Now, when I first started out with Instagram, I had to use these. Now, this is a little mini tripod and this is a connector where you can screw it on and your phone connects to it. So I would just have my phone on that little tripod and I would prop it up and I'd get some kind of weird angles, but that's kind of all I knew how to take footage at first. But now that I'm more experienced, I just like to prop up my phone on a water bottle or on a dumbbell. I'm good to go, it's quick, it's out of the way and I don't feel as embarrassed about that. Something else I wanted to touch base on really quick is that it is easier to film on off-peak hours. So off-peak hours are kind of when the least amount of people are in the gym. 5 p.m. is the busiest hour at the gym. So if you can avoid those hours, try and avoid them. If you can't, just be courteous in the gym, kind of find your own space, and just crank it out, get it done. Something that I personally like to do when the gym is busy is I will do my full entire workout just by myself in my own zone doing my own thing and then I will go in a separate place of the gym and I will then film there so I'm out of people's way and I can feel comfortable taking up some space and filming myself. I kind of find that helpful so that people aren't getting as mad at me because if I'm taking up a whole bench filming myself and there's not even enough benches in the gym in the first place like Girlfriend, no. First and foremost, everybody's there to get a lift, get a pump. You don't want to get in other people's way. So try to just, you know, be courteous, be open-minded, get done what you need to, but also be respectful of other people's time and space in the gym. If you have any tips that you want to share with other people, drop them in the comments below. Help others out. Let's learn. This is a community. So, yeah. So without further ado, let's hop right in. I'm gonna take you to the gym. I'm gonna show you kind of some spots, how I've found different corners and creases where I feel like I can film and get the content that I need for Instagram to help all of you. So I've got this empty spot. I'm gonna set up my phone on here because this will give me a good height. 
And if I just angle it out, I've got this shot of just me over here. If you follow me on Instagram, you've definitely seen this shot. It is by me putting my phone up here. What can I tell you? What can I do? For you to tell me that you're into me too. Could be a safe ride, your place too high. So come and tell me that you're feeling it too. in the frame and a lot of times it kind of takes me a second or I'll put something marking my position where I know I'll be like in the middle of the frame because I can't see what I'm filming so I'll go through and I'll watch this and I am good enough in the frame so I'm like all right good let's go moving on so you could also use this trash can you could put like your phone up here prop it up you could use a dumbbell if you don't have a water bottle with you, or you could even set it on the floor and get a good shot of you jumping up and down. Well, I'm a thing less, why are we waiting? Steady, I could be your steady. You wait for nothing wrong, won't you say it? I never let you down, I'd always make you proud. So come on, let's go for a while. I could be your steady, steady. You can do front screen. machine and I'm using the little assisted seat to prop my phone up on yeah also I am using the calf machine there's just happened to be a bar that points directly at the leg extension machine so this is another win A huge thank you to the best Instagram and YouTube husband there ever was. Love you. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, leave a comment down below or give this video a big like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. And 
follow me on Instagram for more as always. With that being said, I wanted to thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.